what's up my beautiful entrepreneurs i have an industry secret that just makes all of the ingredients that we buy out in the stores just that much better and in this video i'm going to share with you four ingredients to help make your formulas just that much better let's not waste any more time let's get right into the video now in doing a lot of research and understanding the ingredients that are in formulas that we use already every day, I'm looking and seeing all of these common ingredients that are being used in our everyday skincare products from our deodorants to our foundations, you know, to your blush and to your lipstick and your lip gloss. These ingredients are being used in those every day and we understand how great of the products that they already are. And yes, we want to make them a little bit more natural or we just want to figure out how to make it our ourselves but either way adding in these ingredients will help to make your formulas just that much better so that it can be more industry level when it comes to the overall secret ingredient come a little closer a little closer it's going to be esters now i know that sounds like it's just really simple but esters have a lot of great qualities that they add these are going to be more stable ingredients um, you're not having to worry about the natural changes that come with making coconut oil or the natural changes that you see in palm oil or all the other oils that we use a lot of those ingredients are being made in different countries in different climates and a lot of times that can change the overall ingredient I, but with these esters they're going to be the same they're a lot more constant of an ingredient and that's what really helps to stabilize your overall formulas now esters don't only need to be used in your body oils or oil products these are great for our emulsified products body butter they have their purpose and i'm going to share with you four that i really love and i always have with me to test out in formulas to see how i can just make them a little bit better Okay, so first up is going to be ingredient four. Now this is going to be isopurple mysotrate. Now this is also known as IPM. Now I've tested out this product before to test out uh, greasiness in my formulas and it worked out really really great now i love this because of that in general isopurple mycetrate is really great to help with not um, with greasiness to avoid greasiness within your formula it's also great to help with better spreadability it makes the product a lot more gives it more of like a luxury feel makes it a little bit more silky as well but the main purpose that i used it for was the non-greasy factor of it and i think that it does that the best so when it comes to the isopurple mycetrate and find this in about four ounces to 16 ounces for around 10 to 20 dollars um, so it's not too expensive this is going to be a derivative it really goes a long way and it really helps with your overall formula now when it comes to this ingredient i only used it around 10 to 20 percent and i'll really say that for most of the ingredients that i'm going to mention today as well is when it comes to the usage you don't need a lot of it inside of the overall formula because the balance of it within is going to help with that greasy factor that's what's really great with this product is it's really uh, great for formulas that are heavy in butters and oils it can really help to alleviate some of that greasiness within the product and give you more of a smooth overall uh, formula and it really just makes it a, a little bit more luxurious it looks a little bit more silky and i think that that is a really great additive to have for your formulas so now for ingredient three now this is going to be catholic triglyceride now i love this ingredient as well i use this as well in my ultra lightweight body oil formula and i really like this because it's going to be a natural ingredient it's similar to ipm in the sense that it will help with you know the non-greasiness and the smoothness of your formula um i don't think it has the same effect as ipm it's still going to give you the lightweight feel that you need for the oil and that's really the big thing when it comes to an ultra light body oil is having really lightweight oils that aren't going to be very greasy so you're really going to get that with the caplic triglyceride now caplic, caplic triglyceride is made from you know a derivative of coconut oil and it has glycerin in it as well now with the glycerin that's a humectant added in there that's going to add in more moisture to the product as well so the combination of that for caplic triglyceride is a really great ingredient to have in your formulas now 
when you're looking to purchase, you will see that, again, it's similar to coconut oil, but it is not coconut oil. So it's, that's going to be two different ingredients. So make sure that you do see that difference when you are purchasing. Um, they do run for about $18 to $20 for 16 ounces. So th these products aren't going to be overly expensive when it comes to adding this into your formula because a little bit does go a long way and it really does help to level up your products just a little bit more. Definitely think that triglyceride is an ingredient to have and definitely test out in your formulas. Now for a quick tip. When it comes to all of these ingredients, they're all going to have a usage rate of 10 to 20 percent. Now when it comes to that range that you have, it's really great to start off at the you know lower end of the range. So start off at the 10 percent. See how it changes your overall formula and if you don't like how much it changed it and you want a little bit less, you can go down in the range. Or if you want a little bit more um, non greasy feel in your formula then up the range a little bit more but all you have to do is add it up it by you know one percent you can just go from 10 to 11 or 10 to 12 never jump from 10 to 16 because just that one percent difference really makes a change in the overall formula and you want it to be so drastic that you can't really tell where is the perfect percentage for that particular formula but test 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 and you will figure out what is best for your overall formula and now for ingredients two, and this is going to be acetyl ethyl hexanate. Now this is going to be a really great ingredient. Um, what I really like about this as well is again, it's another emollient. It's going to be a liquid uh, ingredient that's going to be, um, it doesn't have any smell or odor to it. And it's going to be clear. It really helps to keep the skin soft. And just, I like that it has other qualities to it that helps with your skin. And it doesn't just help with the greasiness, but it also helps with, you know, uh, fine lines and wrinkles as well. This is a really great ingredient that you'll find in foundations or your powders. You'll see this in a lot of your facial creams. Um, this is a really great ingredient that you can add to help with um, fine lines and wrinkles. And it's also going to be an, a great ingredient that helps to soothe the skin and make for better spreadability. This is also great for any hair products as well. You see this a lot in like hair conditioners and shampoos as well. So if you're making more hair care products, this will be a great ingredient for you to use as well. Okay, so now for number one. This is going to be isopurple pollinate. Now this is a really great ingredient because it has a lot of different things that it covers overall. It can be really used in your skincare, it can be used in hair care, so it is a really great ingredient that you can be really versatile with because I know a lot of people make not only just like their skincare products but they make you know products for hair as well. Now when it comes to this ingredient it's um, really used as a thickener. It helps as well with spreadability and the non-greasiness of a product as well. So that's what I really love about all these ingredients is that it's going to really help to combat that non-greasiness because I know that's a really big problem that you'll notice when you're making these products. When it comes to this ingredient I did find it at about like 20 to 25 dollars uh, somewhere 30 dollars for 16 ounces so it can't be more of an expensive ingredient but when it comes to the uh, brand that you are trying to create when it comes to you know the certain output that you want for your for your products and your uh, formulas then you are going to want to splurge a little bit on certain ingredients to make it just that much better customers you want to make sure that you have a product and you have ingredients within your product that are going to really help to make it easier easier for your customer to use, making it feel more lightweight, making it feel more luxurious for them as well. And you want to add those things, then things that people aren't really necessarily uh, used to seeing or understanding that are inside of these formulas, but it does really make a difference uh, for your overall formula for you and you want to make sure that you are using the product pricing sheet I will have that link down below and in that sheet you'll be able to figure out based on all the ingredients that you're using and how much of it you're using for just one jar or one bottle you'll be able to figure out how much that product um, will be and how much you can charge it for and a lot of times you will realize that you will be able to you know bring your price up a lot more have a 200 to 300 percent markup on your products you just want to make sure that you are understanding the ingredients that you're using and the pricing on those ingredients and you can really have a product that is very lu 
luxurious and can stand toe to toe with the other luxurious products that you see out there as well that are charged more. So this can be used in a lot of like your skincare, you'll see it in hair care as well. But what's really great with the hair care portion is that it's really great for um, moisturizing your hair and your scalp, which can help with getting rid of any flakiness in your hair. So this is gonna be really great for dandruff type of products or for you know pulling out any um, other products that are within your hair when you're cleaning it. So it's a really great ingredient for that if you're making you know hair shampoos or if you're making hair conditioners. Um, it's gonna be a really great ingredient for that and like leave-in conditioners as well. So if you are making skincare products and hair care products, this may be a really great ingredient to test out in your formulas to see if it really does make a difference in your formula. Speaking of testing, I have the perfect video that will teach you how to test with less ingredients to make the perfect formula for your skincare business. I know you got time, so click that video next.